Hey there, I'm Eliza with Ancestral Evolution, and today I'm gonna to be making some tallow lotion bars. So I've been on the search for something to do with tallow to use as a lotion or moisturizer for some time, and I haven't really been happy with it until now. So these lotion bars only have three ingredients in them, and they don't have any essential oils. You say, what? No essential oils? You could, of course, put essential oils in if you wanted to, but I think they, especially if I'm using it a lot on my skin, they can be a little bit irritating, so I prefer not to. But don't worry, you are not gonna smell like tallow because these lotion bars do not smell like tallow, which is awesome in my book. So in this case, we're using beef tallow or the rendered fat from a cow, and this fat is really great for your skin. It's very moisturizing. It is actually similar to some of the fats that you have in your skin and um, is generally great at keeping moisture in your skin. Now, if you're one of those people who tend to be to break out really easily, you may not want to use these like on your back or your face or anything like that. But I find, especially when we have our wood stove going, my hands get so dry and this really, really helps. First, we've got our beef tallow here, and I went ahead and melted it just so it's easier to measure out. Some beeswax, organic beeswax, and some cocoa butter. So the combination of these three ingredients really makes a really nice lotion bar, and it also, like I said, does not smell like tallow. It smells like a mixture of the cocoa butter and the beeswax, even though we're not really gonna be using much of these ingredients at all. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on our most recent projects. Also, I just finished a bunch of spinning classes on Skillshare, so if you are interested in learning how to spin yarn, check those out. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start out with about two cups of beef tallow, and I already melted this just to make the, the measuring a little bit easier. Two cups are about a pound. I've got an ounce of beeswax. I'm just gonna cut this up a little bit so it melts a little quicker. There we go. I do suggest using organic beeswax just because there are sometimes some medications and chemicals that are given to bees that you don't necessarily want on your skin. Next, we need something around a fourth of a cup of cocoa butter. Now, this does not have to be exact. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm just gonna cut these up a little bit too so they're a little bit smaller pieces. This stuff is awesome. It really does smell like chocolate. Hmm. All right, stick these guys in here. And I'll put links below to all of the things I'm using here, including this induction cooktop, which we love. If you need something like a hot plate or if you need another burner on your stove or you need something where you can move around a stove top, these things are great. And they're not that expensive either. So I'm just gonna heat up my water and I'm gonna kind of make a double boiler kind of a thing with this in it and we're just gonna melt everything down. All right, so we're all melted now, as you can see. There we go. I'm just gonna get my mold. I've just got these silicon muffin cups that I use as a mold. But you could you pretty much use whatever you want. I like the silicone because it's easier to pop things out of them. I'm just gonna pour these in. All right, and we're just gonna let these cool and harden up. All right, so our lotion bars have hardened up here. I'm just gonna kind of loosen them up from their mold. And we're gonna pop them out. Here we go. So that is one bar. I like to keep one bar in the bathroom in like a little uh, ramekin or something. But if you're on the go or you want to keep it in a little tin, you could do that. Or even like one of the uh, 
wide canning jars would work, one of the wide um, kind of short ones. And the rest of these I'm just going to pop out. And I'm just going to store them in like a gallon bag and stick them in the fridge until I need them. You probably don't have to, especially this time of year, but I think they, they last longer and if I don't get to them for a while, they're fine in the fridge. And as promised, they smell nothing like tallow. They really only, they smell like a mixture of cocoa butter and beeswax. Like seriously, not a hint of tallow. So if you are one of those people who doesn't like smelling meaty, <laughs> you probably would appreciate these. I've tried a couple other recipes in the past that have just called for like tallow and olive oil and some essential oils or something like that. And unless you use a whole mess of essential oils, it still ends up smelling a little bit like tallow, but this really does not. And I also really like that they're bars, so then you can just grab them and you can apply them wherever you want to apply them. You know, it's not like you have them in a, um, in a jar or something where you have to dig out little bits of it and these are so hard that it's hard to do that. So I think this is the best of all worlds. Rub this all over and it's a really nice smooth texture and it really helps keep the moisture in your hands. So one of my favorite new things for the new year, hopefully you like them too. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and yeah, we'll see you guys soon.